Taylor Swift is Will Ospreay. And on this episode, I'm going to explain why. As most of us have here who watch Americanized wrestling, AEW, WWE, TNA, we've all become very, very familiar with one Will Ospreay. Because it seems like every time he hits the ring, he does things that we haven't seen a whole lot of in recent memory. He always seems to one-up himself somehow. Every time he wrestles, I start thinking, man, how can he outdo the last match he had? It started with Kenny. How can he outdo the last match he had? Then he wrestled the next person. How can he do the outdo the last match he had? And it's been going on week after week after week, where every week I'm like, he's wrestling Claudio this week. Like, How could he get better than the match he had last week? Somehow, he finds new ways to entertain me every single time. I found myself thinking the same thing about Taylor Swift today. She released another album last night. In fact, a double album, 31 songs. I thought to myself this morning, how can she outdo the last thing she did? How can she outdo Midnight's? How could she outdo Folklore? The last two albums have been some of her best work. I found myself wondering if she could outdo it. When is she going to fail? When is Will Ospreay going to fail? Because it always feels like the more you go up, the higher the fall is when you go down. But these elite level performers don't seem to ever fail. I wonder what the ceiling is for these, these elite level performers. How do they hit the ceiling? Is there a point where Taylor Swift's going to put out an album and we're all going to be like, God, this just isn't you, girl. Is there going to be a match where Will Ospreay has where the guy is too different? And when he gets to wrestle him, there is no chemistry and it doesn't make any sense. Because we've seen that with all great wrestlers. They get with someone who's not very good and it kind of ruins the match. I mean, great wrestlers will make a bad wrestler look good, but sometimes it's not savable. Is there going to be a moment where he has a match that everybody yawns at? Or is this going to be the greatest run for a wrestler in the history of wrestling? Because it feels like right now, since the middle of the year last year, in New Japan, he has just been setting everything on fire. He hasn't stopped. He's wrestled every single week. Every one of those matches have had crazy hard-hitting bumps. He's doing shit that no one uh, uh, we've never seen at this point. His body has to break down. But we all said that about Tom Brady, too. Don't forget. We got two or three years from retirement, and we were already ready to throw him in the fryer and say he's done. So I guess my question today is, how long can Will Ospreay do this? How long can he survive the grind of going out there and wrestling every week? Is he going to have to take some time off? Should he be go- getting more into feuds? Should Taylor Swift be releasing 31 song albums? Feels like it's a little arrogant. That being said, banger. Same with the Will Ospreay Claudio match, which I blessedly got to see live. Banger. And you wouldn't think, like, most of the time when it comes to Will Ospreay and Taylor Swift, you see these types of older fans that just hate it because they hate the way new music sounds or they hate the way that Will Ospreay relies on spots and flips to sell some of the parts of his match. It's not for everybody. And that's an understandable statement that everything is not your bag. Also, though, you got to respect greatness when it's in your face. I hated Michael Jordan in the 90s because I watched him beat my Pacers every single year. Hate doesn't mean that I don't respect. Hate just means I dislike that you put my team down. I get that you're tired of seeing Taylor Swift, but if you were to look at the landscape of the album sales and the albums and the content and everything that she's done in the last six years, just through a scope of non-biasness, you'd be amazed too. And I honestly think you could do the same with Lil Ospreay. He is setting the wrestling scene on fire right now. Nobody's stronger than he is. And if this Danielson and Ospreay match goes as well as I think it's going to go, we might have the best wrestler we've ever seen in history.